What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and I want to give you guys an update on how the tune is going and also I want to talk to you guys about why I went with MHD versus boot mode. To be honest, at first um, I did my research, I wasn't sure which tune I wanted um, but I wasn't able to find anything that pointed out why one was better than the other one. Now the second reason was price point. Um, I have no intentions of selling the car so I never really had the I don't feel like I have the necessity of buying a license where I'll have to resell it. As you guys may or may not know, with boot mode you can actually sell your license if you're going to sell your car. You can sell it once and then whoever buys it, they can't sell it again. But usually I've seen them go for about 350 I know uh, boot mode's license, I think it's uh, 600 and MHD after... Um, if after everything it comes out a little bit under 350 I think it's like 340 something but at, so at the end of the day you're gonna be spending about the same amount of money I wanted to go with MHD so I reached out to them and they were willing to work with me in return of me providing some feedback to you guys and this is not I'm not they're not paying me anything to um, say good things about them I'm just giving my opinion now, I really don't have experience with boot mode, so, you know, and I'm pretty sure they're not a bad company either, but I haven't had any issues with my tune. Everything seems to be running good. Um, flashing time did take about, took 40 minutes. I just recently went, went back and changed my verbal settings because at first, yes, it was fun, but then I just kind of, I feel like being considerate for other people. You know, some of the backfire that I was getting was a little bit too loud just because I have a Catalyst now pipe and a muffler delete. The more backfire that you have, the more aggressive the burble is, the more fuel you're using because obviously the tune is using is sending more uh, fuel into your uh, exhaust, which is causing it to backfire. And there's really, uh, I have no need to be ob ob obnoxious. That's the word. My car is loud enough to begin with and I really don't want to attract that much attention um, because I had a feeling that if there was a cop around whenever it was popping as loud as it was, more than likely I might get pulled over for it. Um, and I really don't want to do that so I, would, I just recently went and turned it down to soft. I haven't driven it so I don't know how the actual tuning is, uh, well the purple. I had it set at 2300 RPMs, so I raced it up to 2600 I think. I'm actually going to be going to the dyno tomorrow so I'm, a, I'm uploading this video late. The MHD is going to be coming out with a Bluetooth device and the flash time is going to be cut dramatically so if you don't feel like waiting for 40 minutes um, that's something that you might want to consider in the future if you're not sure which tune to go with yet. I think it's going to be faster than what boot mode is, so just keep that in mind guys. Uh, give them a follow on uh, Instagram if you haven't already done so, and that, uh, more than likely they'll probably post the uh, updates once they have it ready because they were working on it. I'm not sure when it's going to be released, but eventually it will. But I'm going to answer a clip here, um, once I'm done talking. Um, I did a rev session of, with my settings, how they were before it with a medium aggress aggression and one second. I kept the one second but I actually dropped it down to soft. Um, I'm gonna give that a try and then see how that goes. I might leave it at soft. Um, I'll give you guys an update later on. I'll do a video. Um, I know I still owe you guys a video with the pulls and everything. I'm not gonna lie. I've already got I got on the car once and it pulls so with me taking it to the dyno tomorrow is because I just want to make sure that the car doesn't have any boost leaks anywhere. Um, I know I did the installation on the charge pipe myself I and I'm pretty sure everything's good to go but I just want to see what the car makes. Uh, it's pretty much full bolt-ons with the basics which is catalyst downpipe, intake, charge pipe, intercooler and muffler delete doesn't really count but you know just to let you guys know and it's stage 2 plus with 93 octane so we'll see uh, how much it makes if you want to take a guess leave a comment down below on what you think the car is gonna make wheel horsepower and um, torque this is gonna be on a dyno jet temperature for tomorrow it's supposed to be like 90 or 92 degrees um, I haven't checked but I know it's gonna be hot so that might play a factor in it but 
that's pretty much it for the uh, information or the update on the tune and everything. I'll have the video uploaded for from the dyno tomorrow evening because my appointment's at 12. If there's anything else that you guys want me to record um, or answer you guys about the tune, drop a comment or send me a message on Instagram. And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because there is going to be more videos coming up. Like I always say, um, I don't upload every day. Uh, sometimes my work schedule doesn't allow me or the weather doesn't allow me because I don't have a garage. But content is being uploaded. Content is being planned. Um, so do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, drop a like. And thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one.